welcome to Story Magic with Sherry Poppins. That's me, the magical, transformational storyteller and great-granddaughter of Mary Poppins. Perhaps you've heard of her, but I'm a little less mm, stuffy than Mary Poppins because you see I'm also the daughter of Mother Nature. Perhaps you've heard of her, have you? Yeah. Yes, well, Mother Nature brings all the magic to the peaceable kingdom called Earth. I just write about all of her magical beings, and that's why she gave me these fairy wings, so that I can, well, I call them sherry wings, but you know, whatever. But she gave me these so I can whisk you away to magical places, which I'm going to do in just a moment, because I'm going to give you a taste of two tales. That's T-A-L-E-S from the Sherry Poppins collection, that's C-H-E-R-I-E, -E, which means dear one in French, because all the animals are very dear to me, especially the ones that humans hmm, aren't very kind to, like the lizards and the snakes. So in just a moment, I'll give you a bit of the giant and the lizard queen, then I'll clap twice, and we will shift tails, and then I will finish up with two claps. Lizards, lizards everywhere! You, the giant squawk town, do you dare to block my path and cross my way? Your little lizard brains must stray from teeny tiny lizard heads. Your hopeless heart should fill with dread, for I shall crush you one by one and laugh. Ha! When job is done, then eat you up, yum, mm, yum, mm, yum, oh, lizard. Yet the lizards feared him not. They must be mad, the giant squawked. Then the lizards wagged their tails and called their friends ten slimy snails. The snails crept slowly, one by one. The giant squawked, you are so dumb to join the lizard army? No, I'll crush you all, you escargot. And slimy flesh does not for me, but humankind pays mightily for slimy flesh. As fresh as thee. <laughs> Princess Charming, <laughs> if you take a snake to tea, you'll be amazed to see what a wonderful companion that charming snake can be. First, she'll likely shed some skin, uh, as snakes so often do. Wrap it round an Irish rose as a thank you gift for you. <coughs> Next, she'll pour some ginger tea, which has a little bite. <coughs> Sweeten it with wild honey until it tastes just right. <coughs> Perhaps she'll speak of Cousin Thor, who holds a mighty rattle at the base of his strong tail, which he shakes before a battle. children, all animals give a warning before they attack. If humans were so kind, we would have peace on earth. But there are three keys to being magical according to Sherry Poppins and according to Mother Nature. Be kind to all beings, be kind to the earth, and be grateful for everything that you have on this earth, because we are all just visitors in Mother Nature's living room. So with that, is the end of story magic for tonight. But I will bid you peace and love and the magic of Mother Nature until we meet again for another edition of story magic. Thank you all very much for listening. Very much, very much. Thank you. And have a lovely evening.